Magandang buhay grade 10. Since we are already finished with the ray diagramming for the spherical mirror images or the image formation in spherical mirrors that we have discussed during our synchronous sessions, we are now to quantify the images that were formed by those spherical mirrors using the mirror equation and the mirror magnification equation. But before we proceed, let us have a quick recall of what concave and convex mirrors are. Remember that spherical mirror are those mirrors whose reflecting surface is taken from the surface of a sphere. We have two kinds of spherical mirrors. We have the concave mirror, which the curves are inward in the direction of the incident rays while your convex mirrors are those that bulges outward into the incident rays. And as we have described, the images that were formed by the ray tracing or the ray diagramming for the spherical mirrors, we use the LOST, which means L is the location or where is the image from the mirror, O is the orientation or is the image upright or inverted? How does the image is standing? S, what is the size of the image that was formed? Is the image is smaller, larger, or the same size as the object? And last but not the least, we have those three. We can describe what type of image it is. Is it a virtual image or or a real image. When we say quantify, we are going to describe the images that were formed using numbers. So we are going to use the mirror equation and magnification to describe the images using numbers. The following are the objectives of this video lesson in relation to our mirror equation and magnification. Number one, we are to determine the following measurements using the mirror equation to solve problems that involve finding the length or the focal length of the mirror, the distance of the image from the mirror, the distance of the object from the mirror, and the magnification of the image. In order to recheck our answers, to these different problems relating to mirror equation and magnification, we are to locate the position of the image or even the object using array diagramming. To begin with, we have to remember the following sign conventions. Let's say that this is our mirror, be it a plain mirror a concave one or a convex mirror, we have the following sign conventions. Everything that is in front of the mirror is always real and measured positive. Everything that is behind or at the back of the mirror is considered to be virtual and negative in measurement. Just like how we describe real images and virtual images. Anything that is above the principal axis is also always positive. And everything that is below the principal axis is considered to be negative. So you could always remember the ray diagramming that we had previously. Also, remember the following. Distance of the object from the mirror is always considered to be positive. But for concave or converging mirrors, we have the following sign conventions. The focal length is always blank. If the image is form a real, distance of the image is blank, found in front. Number three, if the image form is virtual, distance of the image is blank since it is found behind. So let's go back. Focal length is always 
positive. Remember that a converging mirror is a mirror that focus the parallel light rays into one point and it is in front of the mirror. That's why the focal length is measured positive. If the image is real and real images are formed in front, therefore, the distance of the image is always positive. If the image is virtual, then the distance of the image will be negative because again, virtual images are found behind the mirror. For convex mirrors, we only have one type of image that, were, that was formed. Therefore, the focal length will always be negative and the image that is always a virtual one will have a distance of the image measured to be negative as well. Now, the mirror equation. The mirror equation is written as follows. 1 over F is equal to 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. What are those? F is the focal length. DO is the distance of the object from the mirror. And DI is the distance of the image from the mirror. Remember to always follow the rules of adding or subtracting the similar fractions. The similar fractions are those fractions that have different denominators. And how do we compute or how do we solve fractions that are dissimilar? We are to get their least common denominator or the LCD. Also, don't forget to always take the reciprocal of your solution to arrive at the final correct answer, which we are going to show later on. For the magnification equation, this will be the equation that you are going to use. And remember, M is equal to HI over HO, or we have another one. Magnification is also equal to the negative DI over DO. Again, HI is the height of the image. HO is the height of the object. DI is the distance of the image from the mirror. And DO is the distance of the object from the mirror. Remember also the following notes. If the height of the object or even the height of the image is measured positive, therefore we can say that the object or the image respectively is measured above the principal axis. If the HO or the HI is negative, therefore the object or the image respectively is measured below the principal axis. If the magnification is positive, therefore, the image that was formed is virtual. But if it is a negative one, the image that was formed is a real image. If the absolute value, the absolute value is the two bars indicated here. So if the, mag if the absolute value of the magnification is equal to 1, we can say that the image is of the same size as the object. If the magnification is less than 1 or the absolute value of the magnification of the object is less than 1, the image is, is smaller than the object. And if the absolute value of the magnification is greater than 1, the image is larger than the object. So again, if you say absolute value in mathematics, we only take the positive value or only the value or the magnitude of it. Okay? So we do not take into consideration the positive or the negative signs. Begin with our first problem. A bottle is placed 15 centimeters from the vertex of a concave mirror that has a focal length of 12 centimeters. Therefore, our radius of curvature will be equal to 24 centimeters. Based on the problem, the distance of the object is 15 centimeters 
that is beyond the focal length or beyond the focus of the mirror but it's only 15 centimeters therefore we can find the object as located between the center and the focus of the mirror we will be using this diagram later on for our ray diagramming to check for our answers so the question will be locate the position of the image by means of the mirror equation and the ray diagram so what are the given again the given are as follows number one the distance of the object is 15 centimeters also the focal length is 12 centimeters what is required accordingly we are asked to find the distance of the image or the di therefore we only have one equation needed we will be using the mirror equation and we need to rearrange this equation to solve for the di but in the meantime it will be 1 over di so 1 over di will be equal to 1 over f minus 1 over do substituting our values we will be having 1 over 12 centimeters minus 1 over 15 centimeters both are substituted in their positive values because we are using concave mirror the focal length is always positive for a concave mirror and the distance of the object is always positive as well so these are the similar fractions you need to determine the lcd of the two in this case the lcd of 12 and 15 is 60 centimeters solving further 60 divided by 12 will be 5 times 1 is understood to be 5 minus 60 divided by 15 will be 4 times 1 so it will be still 4 and continuing with our solution 5 minus 4 will be 1 over 60 centimeters and again you have to always get the reciprocal of your final answer so that we can only have our di so the reciprocal of our 1 over 60 will just be 60 centimeters divided by 1 and will be equal to 60 centimeters therefore the image is located 60 centimeters in front of the mirror because our answer is positive now second equation or second problem rather is for us to find the magnification of the image that we got so our magnification is m equals negative di over do or equals hi over ho but based on our given already we already have the do and the di that we have solved a while ago so we only will use this equation we will uh, not use the other magnification equation so substituting the values that we have we always have the negative sign here then the di as we have solved 60 centimeters divided by our do given a while ago already 15 centimeters therefore we will cancel the unit centimeters because magnification is a unitless quantity we will only determine how big or how small the image that was formed so this will be negative 60 divided by 15 is negative 4 or we can say that the magnification is already 4 times larger than the object but as we already have solved it is a negative value 
a negative magnification again indicates that our image is a real image. Okay? So, let us check using our read diagram. So, this is our the image a while ago or the slide for the read diagramming for number one problem. So, ray number one, the PF. Ray number two, FP. Ray number three or ray number four may not be shown here because only two could form the image already. So, as we can see from here, the location of the image is beyond the center of curvature. And our DI a while ago is 60 centimeters. It justifies that since the radius is 24 centimeters and 60 centimeters is greater than 24, our answer for the DI is correct. Our orientation based on the diagram is inverted. The size, you can see from it here, is larger. And our magnification value a while ago is 4 or 4 times. And we can say that it is really larger than the object. And since it's inverted, our image type is real, real image. Number two, a chest piece 1.2 centimeters high is standing 4 centimeters from a converging mirror or a concave mirror having a focal length of 20 centimeters. The radius of curvature is measured 40 centimeters. The given distance of the object or the chest piece is 4 centimeters, meaning it is between the focus and the mirror. Now, the problem is we are going to also locate the position of the image by means of the mirror equation and ray diagram later on. So what are the given based on the problem? We have the DO, distance of the object, 4 centimeters, positive. Also, the focal length, 20 centimeters, measured positive also. And the required in this problem is the distance of the image or the DI. The same equation but we are going to rearrange it so as to solve for the DI. So 1 over DI equals 1 over F minus 1 over DO. So continuing 1 over 20 centimeters minus 1 over 4 centimeters and again they are dissimilar fractions therefore our LCD for this problem will be 20 centimeters 20 divided by 20 is 1 times 1 1 minus 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 1 so we have 5 continuing in our solution that will be 1 minus 5 will be negative 4. Or the reciprocal, so when we take the reciprocal of this, we will have 20 centimeters divided by negative 4 cent no centimeters. Okay, so let us remove this one. So, 20 divided by 4 or negative 4 will give you negative 5 centimeters. What does the negative sign here mean? The negative sign tells us that our image of the chest piece is located behind the mirror. Therefore, it is a virtual image. We'll find that out later in our ray diagram. Okay, for the second part of this problem, the second question is, what is the magnification of the image of the chest piece? We already have the following given as 
the distance of the object given also and the distance of the image that we have just solved a while ago based on this we will not be needing the hi and the ho so similar to our first problem we will simply use the magnification which is equal to negative di over do so continuing with our solution negative negative 5 centimeters divided by the do 4.0 centimeters so we cancel the negative sign uh, the centimeters unit but this is negative and negative we will understand it as this will be a positive magnification so 5 divided by 4 will give us a value of 1.25 again the magnification that we have solved is positive, but the value is 1.25. What does this mean? Positive will tell us that this is a virtual image. A value that is greater than 1, 1.25, this will tell us that we have a larger image. So let us check our answers using the ray diagram so this was our initial diagram for the chess piece in front of our concave mirror or converging mirror let us use ray number one parallel focus and ray number three center center extending our reflected rays behind the mirror because if we extend it in front of the mirror, we can see that they are not going to intersect. So we extend it behind and there you go. Our intersection of our reflected rays tell us the location of our image of the chest piece. So what are the laws? Location is behind the mirror. As we have stated that the DI is negative. Orientation is upright and erect because our magnification is positive value size larger than the object our magnification is greater than one and our orientation is upright and erect therefore automatically the image of our problem is a virtual one for problem number three we have this problem when a butterfly with body length of 4.2 centimeters is 10 centimeters away from a spherical mirror its image is 5 centimeters behind the mirror what or calculate the focal length of the mirror so in this problem the kind of spherical mirror is not mentioned so what are the given we have 10 centimeters away from the spherical mirror so this will be our distance of the object so we can write it here as such and then 5 centimeters behind the mirror so remember when the image is found behind the mirror therefore our di will become a negative value so according to the problem what is required is our focal length and our equation needed to solve this problem is simply the mirror equation that we will not be actually not rearranging to solve the problem. So as we continue, 1 over f is equal to 1 over do plus 1 over di. And as we substitute it here, 1 over do as 10 centimeters plus 1 over negative 5 centimeters continuing our LCD for this is simply 10 centimeters okay then 10 divided by 10 is 1 times 1 will be 1 and then 10 divided by negative 5 will be negative 2 times 1 this will be negative 2 all right so we simplify it as 
this will now become negative 1 over 10 centimeters. And then continuingly, reciprocal, the focal length will be, so 10 centimeters divided by negative 1. And this will just give us a value of negative 10 centimeters. So, the focal length is negative 10 centimeters. But the next question will be, letter B, what type of spherical mirror is used? Based on our problem or based on our uh, final answer for letter A, since the given is focal length is of negative value, we only have a spherical mirror that has a focal length of negative and our final answer for letter B will be this is a convex mirror. Alright, so for the ray diagram, even if it's not indicated in number 3, let's show it this way. So this is the butterfly in front of the convex mirror and we have our DI is 5 centimeters and let's prove if it's really behind the mirror. So we use rays in our image formation. There you go. Ray number 3 and ray number 4. And the intersection is located there. And indeed, our butterfly image will be found behind the mirror. It will be upright and erect because as you will see, you will start from the bottom or from the principal axis towards the intersection and it will be smaller than the object or smaller than the butterfly and then it will be a virtual type of image sit problem number three where must a coffee mug be placed in order to produce a real image 15 centimeters from a mirror that has a focal length of 10 centimeters. The mirror use is not indicated but we can determine it immediately based on the given. Given number 1, the distance of the image is 15 centimeters positive. Why positive? Because it is a real image. And real images are always formed in front of the mirror. Given number 2, the focal length is also positive. 10 centimeters and from the problem again only concave mirrors that has positive focal length can produce a real image so in this problem our required will be the distance of the object because the question is where must a coffee mug be placed so the coffee mug is our object our equation to be used will simply be your mirror equation but we need to rearrange your equation to find our distance of the object so let us now solve this will now give us 1 over the focal length of 10 centimeters minus 1 over the distance of the image given is 15 centimeters continuing we have our LCD to be equal to 30 centimeters so 30 divided by 10 is 3 times 1 3 then minus 30 divided by 15 is 2 times 1 will give us 2 so this will be 1 over 30 centimeters therefore getting the reciprocal of our do this will be 30 centimeters divided by 1 our distance of the object or our object is located therefore 30 centimeters from the mirror we'll find that out later in our re-diagram second problem will be what is its magnification so we already have our do Therefore, our magnification equation to be used is still the same from our previous problems. Then, we can now substitute our DO and the DI. Okay, sorry for the overlap. 
So we proceed with negative di is 15 centimeters divided by the do that we have solved is 30 centimeters. So the units of centimeters will be cancelled out. Therefore, 15 divided by 30 is 1 half or this will give us negative 0.5. So again, what does the negative value tell us? The negative value tell us that it is a real image. And then, the value of 0.5 tell us that the image becomes smaller because it's less than 1. Let us check it using our ray diagram. So this is our concave mirror with the focal length of 10 centimeters and the radius of curvature equal to 20 centimeters. According to the problem, it produces a real image that is already an inverted one. And the image is located 15 centimeters. Therefore, we can find it as between C and F. And from the magnification that we have just solved, it gave us a smaller image or smaller than the original object. And we will be using ray diagramming but in a backward motion or in a backward sense just to look it for our object. So here it goes. And the intersection of this tree could be the possible location of our object. And there it goes. Therefore, our coffee mug is located beyond the center of curvature. Or our answer a while ago, the distance of the object is 30 centimeters. Down to our last problem. A diverging mirror or a convex mirror with a focal length of 90 centimeters is used as a side view mirror of a car. A second car is located 5 meters behind the first car. So in this diagram, the mirror shown here, which is the convex mirror, will be our first car. And it will be assumed that it is already the mirror as part of the car and the second car is 5 meters behind it. We are going to determine the magnification of the image of the second car as seen on the convex mirror. Let's proceed. Okay. Before we actually determine the magnification of the image of the second car, we are supposed to deal with a first problem. But let us enumerate the given quantities. DO, which is our car, 5 meters behind the first car. So that 5 meters is the location of the second car. And that can be equivalent to our value of 500 centimeters. Next, the focal length of the mirror is negative 90 centimeters because it is a diverging mirror or a convex one. The focal length of convex mirror is always negative in value. So before again, we can determine the magnification, we must find out the distance of the image. The distance of the image of the second car. So we are going to use the mirror equation. Again, rearrange that equation to solve for the distance of the image. So we will use the value of the DO in centimeters, okay? So, one, 1 over focal length or 1 over negative 90 centimeters minus 1 over 500 centimeters. In this case, if these denominators are of big value, the shortcut way that I can share to you to get the LCD is that you multiply the two denominators and that will still give you the LCD value. So if that is the case, 90 times 500 will give you 45,000 in value. 
but that can be a bigger value so I will drop down uh, one zero it can be still the same as this will have our 4,500 centimeters okay so 4,500 centimeters divided by 90 is 50 times 1 this will be negative 50 minus 5 4,500 divided by 500 is 9 times 1 will give you 9 and in this case this will be negative 50 minus 9 will give us negative 59 over 4,500 centimeters so similar process take the reciprocal di will be 4,500 centimeters divided by negative 59 in standard value we will have negative 76.27 centimeters so now that we have our distance of the image of the second car negative meaning that is found behind the mirror and again because it is a diverging mirror we can find the image form in a diverging mirror or convex mirror always behind the mirror so with that we can now find the magnification of the second image or the second car using our magnification equation so we can now substitute the di to our magnification equation and our do we have it as well we can now therefore proceed so negative negative 76.27 centimeters divided by our do which is 500 centimeters okay negative times negative we will have a positive value here therefore 76.27 divided by 500 will give you as an point zero point one that's it so our positive value states that this will be a virtual image and then 0.15 is less than 1 meaning our image will be a smaller image so having our ray diagram again we proceed with the following rays Ray number one, ray number two, ray number three, and we can have our ray number four. And this is again our intersection. Therefore, the image of the second car is this one. So let's enumerate the loss. We said it's behind the mirror because our DI is negative. It's upright or erect because our image or our magnification is positive. Our magnification is less than 1. That is smaller than the object. And with all of this, we can have our virtual image. So that's it. These are all the 5 problems, sample problems that can help you in solving either the focal length, the distance of the object, or even the distance of the image together with the magnification equation. So if there are any questions, feel free to send me a message or comment down your questions and I will be answering that. Okay, thank you for listening and watching and hope that you really can solve the problems relating to mirror images. Mabuhay, grid 10!